This is Inspire 2016 with your weekly tarot reading for the week, commencing the 11th of September until the 17th of September 2017. The first card for you is representing, how do you feel about yourself? Your card is, the Six of Wands. You have achieved your goals and being publicly acknowledged for your efforts and your results. You may have recently received an award, public acclaim or acknowledgement from your peers for the work that you have done. It may even be just a pat on the back or getting praise or recognition for your work. You have harnessed your strengths and talents in order to bring about a successful outcome in your endeavors. You have managed to get through the confusion of the Five of Wands, minimizing your distractions, focusing on the task at hand. You have overcome the challenges along the way, and now you are focusing your energies on the one goal that will lead to your success. This is your time to shine and to come out on top. The Six of Wands is such positive encouragement to believe in who you are and your accomplishments so far. Have faith in what you have personally achieved and how this will be received by others. Do not let fear or guilt stand in the way of your success. You ought to feel proud of what you have achieved and not afraid to hold your head up high and feel worthy of others' attention. The Six of Wands focused on creating success and building your personal brand and reputation. You want to be successful at what you do but at the same time, you want to ensure that others know about it and give you the recognition you deserve. You may need to promote yourself more frequently by sharing your success stories with others and encouraging them to follow a similar journey. If you do not already, you will soon have some great success stories to share within your personal networks. You may even be interested in applying for awards or scholarships in order to build your brand and receive public recognition. The second card for you is representing. What do you want most right now? Your card is The Seven of Wands What do you want most right now is to maintain your position at the top while others compete and fight to achieve the same success and status that you have already achieved. Thus, competition is rife and you must continually prove yourself with the Seven of Wands. If your vision and creative effort is fulfilled to the point where there is public acclaim or acceptance of your success then you must expect competition and challenge, as other people will no doubt also desire the same things as you. There is a challenge to the continued success of a venture or creative project from an external source. While it appears to block your path forward, you can overcome this challenge or obstacle by drawing upon your strong self-confidence, self-belief and continual self-improvement. It can also be overcome with effort and clarity of purpose. The Seven of Wands is about holding your ground, despite ongoing challenges to your position and authority. You need to take a stand and defend your position at all costs. This will take courage and persistence but you have the strength and determination to do it. You see yourself as a battler and no matter what the challenge, you still have it in you to stand up for yourself and fight to the end. So, although you are experiencing a number of setbacks at the moment, you need to continue fighting for what you believe in and confronting others who may oppose or threaten you. 
there needs to be acceptance with this card that you are not always going to be able to win everyone over. There will always be challenges and opposition to your point of view and you cannot keep everyone happy all of the time. Thus, now is the time to draw your line in the sand, and say, this is who I am and this is what I need right now. There cannot be any compromise or negotiation at this time, just hold your ground with determination and courage. From quite a literal perspective, this card can indicate that you will be required to give a speech or write a paper on a contentious or highly debated issue. You will need to be ready to defend your argument and present hard facts that support your point of view. Expect to be challenged but enjoy this challenge as it will help you to create an even more robust argument. The third card for you is representing your fears. Your card is the two of pentacles. You are afraid that you cannot manage your activities and commitments. You may also be struggling to manage your finances and to stay on top of paying bills and keeping a bridge of other financial commitments. The stress is getting to you and you are becoming easily overwhelmed by your responsibilities. Therefore, this card encourages you to become more organized and more planned in your approach. You may need to bring a little more structure to your day-to-day -day affairs, through budgets, to-do lists, forward planning or diary and effective time management. Life is certainly a juggling act, so make sure you are on top of everything you need to be. You are not managing your work and family commitments. It is more than likely you are investing most of your time in work, neglecting your family or your partner. While you may be able to get away with a couple of late nights at work, there will come a time when enough is enough and you will need to make a choice. Something has got to give. You are finding it hard to manage your finances and your cash flow may be quite unpredictable. Now is the time to start a budget and stick to it. This card also advises you not to overcommit, particularly on a more physical, logistical, material plane. Do not commit to too many plans as a couple at this stage or make any financial commitments together. Watch your spending and also how you manage your time. You may find that you get caught up with work or other commitments at this time which distracts your attention from your relationship. It will all come down to where your priorities lie and whether you want to let other commitments interfere with your relationship, or vice versa. The fourth card for you is representing, what is going for you. Your card is, the six of pentacles. You have accumulated great wealth and are now in a position where you can offer financial assistance to those in need. Now that you have lived through the darkness long enough to see the inner light, it is time to help others who are not so fortunate. Consider giving to charity or reaching out a helping hand to someone who needs your support. The generosity of the six does not limit itself to money and material things. Giving of your time or your wisdom is often just as spiritually fulfilling as giving away money or gifts and the intangible gift of your presence is received just as well, if not better. You may also be inclined to make a loan to someone, on the premise that they will eventually pay you back once they are back on their feet. This is a loan built on trust and good faith, knowing that if you give something away, it will come back to you. Remember, though, that this is more about a short-term fix and not a sustainable solution towards self-sufficiency. So, think about how you can financially support your family or friends in a way that encourages them to stand on their own two feet eventually. If you are the beggars in the Six of Pentacles, then you may be the recipient of someone else's charitable activities. This will help you to get back on your feet and to eventually repay the charitable organization or individual, either with your time or your restored wealth. You will also need to identify ways in which you can become more self-sufficient in the long run. The risk of accepting charity is that you become dependent on it and cannot look after yourself. 
be mindful that you are not becoming submissive or noticeably desperate as a result of the charity that someone else is providing you. The fifth card for you is representing, what is going against you? Your card is, the page of cups. You are escaping reality through drugs or alcohol. If this is not you, it can be someone around you who is running away from reality and living in their own world. This is a person who is emotionally insecure and unable to conduct healthy relationships as he expects too much and gives too little. He is lacking in self-love and self-acceptance, and may be emotionally abusive. This person has rampant and unfocused emotions, and may therefore get his or her feelings hurt without reason. He is suspicious, self-doubting, insincere, selfish and easily depressed. This may be someone you know or even reflection of your shadow self. You or someone you know may also be prone to childlike tantrums and a loss of emotional control in the face of adversity. The reversal of the page of cups points to exaggerated emotional outbursts and a temperamental, overly dependent personality. The page of cups can sometimes indicate substance abuse, particularly if paired with the devil. You may be using drugs or alcohol as a way to escape your reality and to dream about a more favorable possibility. It will eventually catch up with you. Given the page of cups is reflective of your creative abilities, its reversal can indicate a creative block. Alternatively, you may feel thwarted when it comes to doing the types of stimulating, creative projects that you find really interesting but which may not bring in as much income as other things. The ideas are there but you are having trouble figuring out how to make them into reality. The page of cups can indicate that you are following an inclination or a hunch but with little thought about whether it is realistic or not. You may be acting without thinking or allowing your immediate desires and emotions to seduce you, particularly if they go against your common sense, such as making a promise you cannot keep or a commitment that does not mean anything to you. The last card for you is representing, the likely outcome that you may have. Your card is, the King of Swords. You need to adopt a very stern but fair role. You have clarity of mind and can perceive the truth right now, so you must take the lead with providing an objective point of view. You are well positioned to judge your situation appropriately and identify the limiting behaviors that are getting the way. This is a time when you need to leave emotions out of it, and remain as objective and rational as possible. You may need to reason with others and be quite direct about what you are observing. You may be concerned that you are not being particularly caring or sympathetic but at this point in time, this detachment is what is needed most. Similarly, the King of Swords encourages you to use your logic and intellect to navigate your path ahead. You will need to get to the heart of the matter, make firm and well-researched decisions, and ensure that you are firm but fair in your dealings with others. You need to be able to take any situation, look at it with total impartiality, and then come to a decision that is both fair and insightful. Oftentimes, the King of Swords represents a professional advisor, such as a solicitor or attorney, financial advisor or taxation consultant. This advisor has a solid reputation and a vast amount of knowledge in his particular field, and will provide you with objective, well-researched advice about your own situation. He is completely impartial, and will draw upon his experience and his innate knowledge of the rules, systems and structures that are in place. He may come across as detached or disinterested in your personal circumstances unless it relates specifically to the type of advice he is giving you. This is so that he can provide only the most relevant and objective advice to you. He prides himself in his expertise and qualifications, and is likely to charge a high fee for his services. Nonetheless, he offers the rigor and specialist knowledge that you need right now. 
this king is also a man of the highest ethical standards. It is impossible to corrupt him and as such he acts as a pillar of strength who gives sound advice to everyone, no matter who they are. What is more, he firmly expects others to operate by the rules of the law and will not tolerate others who break the law. Last but not least, the guidance card for you is. God is your source. This card reminds you that your job is not your source, God is. When you worry about your work, or whether people will buy your product or service, you are blocking your flow of abundance. It's time to focus upon your true source of everything that you need for your life and your purpose. God is omnipresent, so that means that God is within you and in every situation you are concerned about. Take whatever worry you have and put it in words, for example, getting a promotion and raise at work or selling my home. Then add God, please help me with underscore or God. Thank you for helping me with underscore to the front of the worry. So, God, please help me with getting a promotion and raise at work, or God, thank you for helping me with selling my home. Feel the immediate positive energy shift as you move from worry to prayer. Your renewed faith opens the door to miraculous solutions. Keep in mind, though, that prayers are often answered in unexpected ways. So, for example, you may get a promotion at a different job. God's solutions are always for the highest and best good. I hope that you enjoy everything and if you like the reading, just please click subscribe and you will get the instant notifications every time we publish a new video right to your uh, YouTube. Thanks.